Have you ever been in the middle of counting something and then lost your count and had to start over? Hey Paul, 17, 4, 36. Well, the same thing can happen with encoders too if you lose power. And if you want to prevent that from happening, then you better know what an encoder index is and how it can be used. When it comes to index, we need to start with understanding what an encoder disk looks like. Let's see here. Ah, here we go. The classics. Incremental encoder disks have a series of lines and windows on them that are used to help measure movement. If the encoder loses power, the system loses track of where the disk is in its rotation. Because each set of lines and the space between them is identical to the next. So this disk isn't going to help us if we need to know exact position. To know exact position, you need a unique spot on the disk that looks different than anything else. And we call that an index. An index is a unique spot on the disk that can be used as a homing position after the power is lost and restored. The system turns back on and starts moving. Once it finds index, the exact position is known. If you need to know the exact position at all times without going to a home position after the power is lost and restored, you want to learn about absolute encoders, but that's another video. So if you have more questions or want to talk about custom encoders or multiple indices, you can leave a comment below or reach out to our customer support team. Be sure to keep an eye out for more Encoders 101 videos by subscribing.